Mr. Alphazar. How fortuitous. Is that your phone? Yes, it is. Where'd you find it? Well, you dropped it yesterday when we bumped into each other, and I had the same model, and I picked it up by accident. So. I don't believe in accidents. I believe that things happen for a reason. People cross paths. Opportunities present themselves. Yeah. You either act on them or you ignore them. Well, this particular opportunity would be difficult to ignore. Oh, thank you. Didn't have to buy me a drink just for returning the phone. My way of saying thank you. That's it? Nothing more? Always so suspicious. Yeah, it's an old habit. Well, I'm sure it's essential in your line of work. Did we discuss my job? Well, remember I said I'd heard your name? Yeah. Speak my interest. Did a web search. Hmm. It's funny, there wasn't much information on you. What there was involved espionage mm -hmm. and undercover work. You led an adventurous life, Mr. Van. Oh, yeah. You too. I did my own little web search on you. And it seems that your background is just as adventurous and mysterious as mine. You must be referring to my family business. Yeah. From what I read, the Alcazars are quite nefarious. Are you still involved in the espionage business? Oh. No, I haven't done that for years. Do I look like I do? No, uh, I was involved in a, a boating accident, kind of. And it nearly killed me, so. Mm, sorry to hear that. So, what do you do now? I work for an international relief organization. With business in Port Charles? No. I told you, my daughter lives here. Right. I missed a lot of her growing up, so I'm trying to make up for lost time. Yeah. There you have it. My life's very ordinary. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. You're always so suspicious. You know the saying. Leopard can't change its spots. Oh. Um, what I believe is that you kind of live your life in stages, you know, almost like turning a page to a new chapter. And I feel that I've done that. I've turned a page to a new chapter. Very well put. Yeah. What about you? You still involved in your family business? No, got out a while back. Turned the page to a new chapter. Uh -huh. If I told you about my business now, I think you'd be bored to tears, and fortunately, I think you will be spared the details. I have a business meeting to attend to. Thank you again for returning my cell phone. My pleasure. No, the pleasure was mine. Seeing you was, um, what was the word you used? Fortuitous. This give me a new phone and a new number. Alert my associates of the change and you tell them to do the same. And you make sure and tell them we have been compromised. That's a good idea. You uh, call the agency, check it. What are you babbling on about? Forget about me. You know the game. You call your superiors and tell them you've uh, made contact with the target. What are you talking about? What target? You know, Mr. Slip McSmarmy, the legal arms dealer, that guy that's running the cash and carry weapons mart. Come in, buy one, get one free. Oh, yeah. I remember reading about him somewhere. Did you? Yeah. Except he's out of the business. It's all in his past. I will say, your poker face has definitely improved. Thank you. Could be pleasant. Elements. What do you suppose the agency's take on this might be? I don't you know. You know what I think, Vigan? What do you think? Is that there's a double cross about mm -hmm. to happen, mm -hmm. largely because of Alcazar's connection to organized crime. Well, I just keep rambling. It's so entertaining. You know what, Cookie? This could be a tough assignment. Yeah. If it were an assignment, which it isn't, I think I'd find it quite painless. 
uncles, Mr. Alcazar is very charming. But that's a moot point because I simply bumped into him by accident. Well, don't be surprised if Alcazar finds you quite resistible. Mm. I mean, his girlfriend is, after all, preggers with his child. I simply had a drink with him. It was a thank you for returning his cell phone. Okay, that's why I didn't warn you. You seem to be going to great lengths to dissuade me from getting involved with Lorenzo. I'm not jealous of you. <laughs> me? Jealous? I think it's really sweet. Come on, I know what it's like when you're on assignment. You gotta put out a little part of the job. <laughs> you're just miffed. I didn't come here for you. You said she didn't. Look, I thought she was so certain I'm on assignment. Well, you pick and choose your own assignment, and you pick this assignment here. Poor Charles, remember? Yes, because Robin lives here. I'm here to spend time with her. And if your luck holds, me too. No, I'd hate to put a pin in that overblown ego of yours, because there would be shrapnel everywhere. You've never changed. You're still the same self-centered adolescent you always were. I would have to be so foolish to want to get back with you. Well, we both know you're not... Cool. Right. And, well, perhaps infatuated, unable to dismiss the animal attraction. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be clinging to you adoringly? Because I didn't get that memo. Oh, come on, Annie, you admit it. You're dying for a second shot at the goodies. They weren't that good. Here's the thing. You have a very overactive imagination. Come on. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I am not entirely immune to your charms. Now, you tell me what you're really doing here and what you really want. Oh, you just won't let go of it, will you? Of course I will. Just tell me what's going on. You're impossible. That's what's going on. Take that as a copy. You just take it whatever way you want and put it wherever you want. Hi, this is Robert. Yeah, I, uh, I'd really like to talk to you. 